The UK state pension can be a difficult thing to understand at the best of times. The old system means that different people need different amount of qualifying years to get full entitlement. The old basic state pension is a lot lower than a new state pension and many people are opted out without their knowing. All this means people could be left with a lot less than they actually think they're going to get in retirement. That's where pension credits come in. Pension credits are separate from your main pension and these are designed to help top up your pension to a minimum weekly amount. Now, in order to qualify for pension credits, there are a couple of bits of criteria you have to meet. Now, your minimum weekly income, if you're single, needs to be below £182.60, or your joint weekly income, if you're in a couple, needs to be below £278.70. Now, in order to work out your weekly income, there are certain things that are included as income and certain things that are excluded from income when you do your calculation. Things that are included as your income are your state pension, obviously, any other pensions you might have, even if they're being deferred at the moment, they will be taken into consideration. Any employment or self-employment and most social benefits, so for instance, care allowance. There are many things that are not included as income and the list is quite long. So we've got adult disability payments, we've got attendance allowance, Christmas bonus, child benefit, disability living allowance, personal independent payments, social fund payments like winter fuel allowance if you get help with your energy bills in that way, housing benefit and cancel tax reductions, these things aren't included. Now unfortunately for a lot of people, savings are actually included in your weekly allowance. I know this is terrible. If you've saved away for your future, you shouldn't be penalised, but unfortunately you are. So if you have £10,000 or less in savings, then you're safe. This won't affect your weekly income at all. But if you have £10,000 or more, then it reduces on a scaled system. So for every £500 you have over £10,000, that's classed as £1 of weekly income. So if you had £20,000 in savings, that would be classed as £20 weekly income on top of what you get through all them other means. I know it's ridiculous, penalised for doing the right thing, but these are the rules, unfortunately. Now, if you live outside of the UK, I'm sorry, but you don't get this. And if you are eligible and then decide you want to leave the UK, once you're out of the country for more than four weeks, this will be taken away and you'll no longer get it either. Now, if you don't meet the criteria, then don't worry, there are some other options which we'll discuss later on. But chances are we all know somebody that benefit from this and just simply doesn't know about it because the government, they don't really want to tell you. So pension credits not only top up your weekly pay to a minimum amount, so that is £182.60 if you're single per week and for joint couples £278.70 per week, but it also opens up loads of other avenues. It's a gateway benefit effectively. So as well as the top up, you could also get help with housing or mortgage payments. You get a reduction in council tax. You can get a reduction or a free TV license. You can get the warm home discount, which currently is about 140 pound a year. You can get help with glasses and contact lenses or NHS costs. You can get free dental treatment and you can get help with your bills like the cold winter payment. It's really worth checking out and you can do so on the government's website. It's free to do, so you might as well do it. Now there is a chance you can get some of this help even if you don't meet the criteria, along with a host of other things which include an extra £69.40 a week if you have a severe disability, an extra £38.85 a week if you care for another adult, an extra £56.35 for every child or young adult you look after in your household, and if they have a disability this can increase further. And finally, a thing called saving credits. Now saving credits are designed for people that have put some money away for their retirement, so maybe you've got a retirement plan or an old workplace pension. Now in order to qualify for these, again there are rules, there always are, you must have reached retirement age by the 6th of April 2016. If you do qualify, you'll get an extra £14.48 a week if you're a single applicant, and an extra £16.20 a week if you're a couple. I know it's not a lot, but it is something. The simple message from this video is just to check. Even if you don't qualify, you might know someone that does, and this could be a lifeline to them. It doesn't cost anything to find out. I'll leave the information of how you can find out down below and contact details of places to talk to for advice. Now, if you found something useful in this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.